Function number five is all about your respiratory system because together with the accelerations and the decelerations in your heart, you also have the same profile of accelerations and decelerations in your respiratory rate, in your breathing rate during REM sleep dreaming. And part of the benefit here is that it helps maintain the elasticity of the tissues of the lungs. And when you maintain that elasticity, therefore giving the lungs a workout, as it were, just as the heart had a workout during REM sleep, you improve the lungs capacity for oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange. You improve your respiratory fitness as a consequence of REM sleep. Number six on the list, and I'm quite sure that this is probably going to seem like the most sensational one on the list, that is penile erections and clitoral engorgement. Now, you, like many other sleep scientists in the past, may have thought the reason that this is happening is probably because of what people are dreaming about. Maybe they're having, let's just say, some rather um, pleasurable dreams. Not true. It turns out that these changes are completely unassociated with anything that people are dreaming. So then what is the function of uh, penile erections and clitoral engorgement during REM sleep? It turns out that it's all about blood flow because when you get a swelling of blood to these areas, it improves the vascular health and the tissue health of those areas. In other words, REM sleep dreaming is a matter of sexual health. It's a matter of sexual organ wellness. Number seven on the list is the immune system. During REM sleep, we will release key immune factors, things such as cytokines. And as a result, by way of that REM sleep primed immune system, we wake up as a more robust immune individual as a consequence. And by way of that boost in the immune capacity, we can fight off and become more resilient to pathogens and infections. That is another benefit of REM sleep dreaming. Number eight, last but not least, protein synthesis. Because during REM sleep, we will activate specific genes and those genes will translate and transcribe proteins. Now, many of us will think of proteins as essential for the body and they are. They are critical for helping repair and rebuild muscle tissue and also enhance muscle growth. But we also need proteins upstairs in the brain. Why do we need that? Well, during REM sleep and this protein synthesis cascade, we're going to give the brain proteins that it will use to build stronger connections between brain cells, stronger synapses. And those strengthened synapses by way of REM sleep protein synthesis, improve learning and memory retention. So there you have it, eight perhaps of the unsung and unknown functions of this wonderful thing that we call REM sleep dreaming.